so yeah today topic is on uh, using groovy uh, how we can do cred operations on a particular business object so uh, so we will see how we can create uh, a record like um, uh, like any object record whether it can be standard object or custom object uh, like uh, creating a sales lead creating opportunity creating account contact using groovy so we uh, till now we have seen different ways of creating records right the very first one is we we created records through ui or uh, through uh, like we we create we updated records through ui right so we did all that creating deleting updating all that four cred operations we did using ui and then we also uh, we also saw that uh, that uh, using postman or using rest apis we up, we created a record we updated a record we deleted a record using the postman tool right that is also one of the way and the one more way we saw is uh, using import method so using import we uh, we created a record and we updated a record we can delete a record right we can do all of the operations through import as well so in this session we will see how we can manipulate the data using groovy uh, and how we can access uh, the business object right business object means any object whether it can be standard object or custom object anything okay so how we will how we will going uh, how we are going to access the particular object whether it can be same object or a different object or any other object right any other object in in this environment so how we will going how we are going to access and how we will uh, how we we can manipulate uh, the records and the date uh, and the records and then how we are going to um, like process uh, based on different uh, scenarios so we will see all of those okay now we will see uh, uh, suppose we have a event object right so uh, like we are in the event object and then how we can uh, like update a specific field uh, within this object right that we will see first and then so from this object how we can access another object and then get the information or create uh, a record in another object right so we'll see those so now i don't have any uh, record in this uh, right so in this object so we will see uh, like how we can create a record uh, so we need to go to application composer and uh, so uh, so we'll take our first scenario is updating the same record right so if i select um, active right we we created three fields active description and we have a uh, like record name by default so once i select the uh, uh, active i should be able to uh, I, I i should update something in the description so that is what my simple requirement and we'll see how we can do that so for that we need to go to service uh, server scripts okay so in in groovy uh, uh, like session 2 uh, we have discussed it, validation rules triggers and object functions right so uh, so using that so we will select the event or so based on our scenario we, we can select the event so since our scenario is whenever a record is created right at that time if if the active checkbox is yes then we are updating something in the description so that is what our simple requirement so i am selecting before insert because uh, we are, we need to run the script uh, before inserting the data into the database so that's why we are selecting before insert if we want to uh, like if we if we want to uh, like update something on update then we need to select before update in the database 
if you want to delete uh, be, uh, and that time if you want to do something we need to select before delete so i'll say update description okay and so now what we need to do um whenever this record is inserting right so that time we need to check a condition so that condition is nothing but if the active value is checked right so for uh, for boolean uh, type of or checkbox type we can use like this the api name comparing we are comparing with the value so the value stored in uh, checkbox will be like this y or n y means checked and n means unchecked if this is the condition then what i need to do i need to update the description so description uh, like api name is description underscore c so this uh, values we can select from the function palette right so here i am updating uh, a value so for updating so in two ways we can do so one is so directly i can put the field name and then i can give this field is updated by trigger right by before insert trigger so this way i can do or a sim one more uh, way of uh, setting the values is we can use one function called set attribute set attribute and here we need to pass <coughs> these two values so one is the api name of the field and then the value of the field right so for that the first parameter will be um so the set attribute format will be like field name field name comma comma value field value so in place of field value i need to pass the field name which i need to give within quotes because this is a <coughs> string and we are we are giving this particular field right so we should give within quotes the value if it's if it is a um, string we should give in quotes you can use a uh, single quotes or double quotes whatever uh, no issues so this way also we can set by just using this set attribute function and passing these two parameters or we can directly set the value to the field right so i'll use set attribute uh but can use any way and i am saving and closing so now we are going to the custom object right and then um on creating uh if we select checkbox right so whatever we have entered so that uh, like uh, we have hard coded in the uh, script that should come here so the event we selected is before insert right uh, so i'm selecting okay and then now i'm selecting active so so you can see this is updated by before insert trigger okay okay now we'll create one more record with uh, without checkbox event 2 and uh, i'm not selecting the checkbox right so this time it shouldn't update this uh, description field so i just clicked on save and continue uh, to check the behavior so no right 
uh, it didn't update the description but if i create uh, a box it should uh, create should update the record. okay like this so this is how we can uh, update uh, within within the same object so if we want to update so something like um, uh, so whenever i uh, create this record if i want to create some other record or right if i want to if i want to access something else object so that how we can do right so because since we in this script we are in the same object and so that's why we are just using set attribute and uh, and we are giving the value but if i want to update some other object i can't use like this because it doesn't know right so if we don't mention uh, if we just mention the field it will understand this field is belong to this particular object whatever we are creating right so if i want to create a record or update a record or delete a record what whatever the thread operations so if i want to do for the the other object right how i can do is using new view so we have one function called new view in groovy so using that we can uh, access the other object in groovy sample format of that groovy and uh, yeah. okay. so here if you see um, so this is the new view format right uh, this is the new view format uh, of sample script so here we can i'll explain each and every line so so this uh, first line will be uh, we are using the name of the object so if we are using custom object right uh, custom object one or custom object underscore c right so this is our uh, object so then yeah uh... Uh, so then we need to uh, so we we define the object right and then we need to define which uh, like if you are doing an update right if you are doing an update we need to uh, filter right we need to uh, we need to select which row we need to update so for that reason we can use this view criteria and then we can give uh, uh, and we can define new view uh, criteria so that means new filter we need to use and that filter is uh, something like uh, id equal to so for custom object there will be a id field so id equal to the id that we need to so you can here we can pass something like uh, any id suppose like this this can be our id so this record information i need to update right so in that case i can use like this and then so uh, after after defining this filter okay i need to insert this filter to the my uh, object okay so i defined a filter and that filter i am inserting to my object that yeah whatever uh, view criteria we define view criteria is nothing but the filter criteria so that criteria i inserted to my object so that if i if i use this execute query, uh, query it will run this um, object and it will find the results based on the filter we have given so now uh, now it will fetch the row so here uh, we can see right so this will be our row row means 
this record information I'll get in this particular variable. That means all the attributes, all the uh, field names and field values will be in this row. Okay. So if I want to get, uh, right, if I want to get uh, our description, so how I can access that description is row dot description underscore C. So this is my description. So this is my description. Also, uh, like uh, one more way of uh, getting the description is uh, we can use like uh, we have set attribute and get attribute, right? So like we, we use it set attribute. In the same way, we can use get attribute. That means row dot instead of set, I'm using get attribute. Get attribute. So in get attribute, we just need to pass this API name. API name of the field so that we will get the description. And if you also uh, see the comparison between the like the uh, using get attribute uh, in, a, in to update the same record, right? We have we have script there like active underscore C uh, right equal to equal to uh, Y. So then we are doing So like this, right? So instead of get, I'm, I'm doing set and I'm passing, uh, I'm passing something. So this is how uh, like we access it there. But here, if you see uh, the, the extra thing or right, uh, if I want to set now, if I want to set uh, the uh, active field to uh, no, so then uh, how I can select is row dot set attribute and then I need to pass which field I need to set up uh, is active, right? Active. I'm just writing two scenarios uh, like where in one place I'm updating uh, the same record and uh, in another place I'm uh, updating uh, like another record. So consider this script is written in, uh, in the event object itself, but this script is written in uh, maybe you can say uh, lead in lead we have uh, we have given this script. So, so from lead, how we can uh, update is like this row dot. So we will give the ID and we will get that row and to that row we are setting. But here we don't need to specify this row dot because we are already in the same object record. So that's why we don't need to specify row dot. So if we are uh, referencing uh, the other object. What uh, like if we are not if you are not setting if you are not changing any attribute value other than the current record. So then we can use something like this. We need to define a row like this, and then to that attribute we need to make the changes. So in this, uh, right, we are doing, uh, if we, we are updating set attributes, we are uh, set attribute if we are using, then we are updating this record. If you are using get attribute, we are reading that record that is viewing that record. So if, if I want to delete this particular row means this particular record. So I can use row dot remove function so that this row will be deleted okay 
So, uh, and then we'll see how we can create a row also uh, in our demo. So now what we will uh, see in our demo is, uh, so whenever a record created, uh, means whenever a contact record is created, an event should be created in our custom object, right? So that we are going to do using new view. So whenever I create contact, right? So oh, I'll go to, I'll go to application composer. And then I will go to the contact object. And in the same way, I'll create uh, uh, before, before insert trigger. So here also I'm using before insert trigger because so whenever a contact is creating, I need to create a event record, right? So I'll say create event record. So here I need to write a script that should create a record in a event object. So I have one sample script, which, which can create a record. Okay. So I can take any one. Um, so for now I'm taking, uh, I'll use this one. Okay, fine. Um, so the very first, uh, we'll use uh, this method one. Okay. So first one is we need to define uh, object API, right? So that we defined. So we need to using new view, we can define uh, object name. So our object is custom event, right? custom event. So this is our object name. So then what we need to do is we need to create a new row in this particular object, right? So that's why I can, so that's why I can use vivo dot create new row, right? So something like this. So that syntax we can get uh, from any sample script. So just create row. Okay. So I'm using vivo dot create row function. Okay. I just created a uh, row and then I'm storing it in one variable. So in this row, this is a new record, which I'm going to create, right? So in this row, which fields I need to set, I need to define here. So that is event row dot set attribute. Set attribute of, uh, like I, I'll, I'll use this uh, active, okay and uh, i'll default it to y okay then the same way we need to update if we want to update one more field i can use event row dot set attribute okay and then uh, the description right description field i'm updating description api name comma this record is created from contact object. Okay. So, and after that, we need to insert a 
whatever we have uh, uh, like updated right that we need to insert to the object so we we have one insert function so that is this insert row i'm just using insert row and our object is event row right so oh no vivo is our object so where i'm storing my object so i'll validate it okay this is that's it uh, so if we just do this it will create a record so here we are inserting a row in custom object event object but which row i need to select that row right so for that i am selecting event row in place of r i need to select event row so that whatever row we created here that will be inserted in, inserted into our object i'm validating and then i'm saving now to test uh, we need to create a record right so till now we created three event records and uh, if we create a new contact so it should again create a new uh, event record that description should say this record is created by uh, uh, from a contact object okay so it is saying uh, one more field is required okay so we'll cancel this uh, and then we'll again modify the script so it is attempting to create a record but while creating there is one field required field so that also we need to uh, give so that is record name so we have given only the custom field values but we have went uh, like uh, we haven't given the record name so so that script is in uh, contact object right let's go to contact object so one more required field i'm adding here so uh, the next field is record name this is a standard field so that's why we don't have so this is i will call it as event uh, okay event plus now so it means uh, it should it should print event plus uh, current time the record creation time so i can again i am creating a new record now it should create a record in uh, uh, in the event object so i'll give uh, i'm giving just the required fields first name last name and then i'm uh, uh, 
I'm creating this record. Okay, so now our uh, contact record is created. So now what uh, I'm going to check is in my event object, whether the record is created or not. The fourth record is created. That is event with the current time. And if you open, uh, it will say this field is updated or created, um, updated by before insert trigger, right? So, okay. So this is uh, overwritten by the same object. So first we have, uh, uh, like we are creating this record from contact object. object. So that time it gave, uh, we, we gave some values, right? This is, this, this record is created by contact, but uh, we have also uh, at uh, before insert trigger in this particular event so that it is overwritten. So that is, that condition is, if this is check, checked, right? So then we are updating this value. So it is just um, uh, like overwritten, but from this we can see uh, this is created by, or this is created from contact object. We are creating from contact object. So, so this is the way, like how we can access uh, one object in another object. Uh, also, uh, so so in this link, uh, we have uh, like different ways of using new view. So the first one is. Uh, like a simple new view criteria. So where we, we can define uh, like our object, right? Object and then uh, filter. And then we can, uh, if you want, we can get the count. So with this filter, how many records we are getting. So that count we can get. And then um, uh, like if, uh, so with this, with the filter we gave here, if we have uh, more than one record, then we can use while loop. If we have only one record, we can use if condition here. If we use while condition, then it will iterate up to the records we have. So if we have five records, it will iterate till uh, it will iterate five times. This while loop will iterate five times. And second example is using find by key method. So uh, we we, we don't need to define uh, the filters uh, manually, like, um, uh, right? So if we have the ID, right? If we have primary key, so we can use this find by key method and then we can give the uh, that record ID value and we can get that record. So we can update uh, using this uh, event location. Right? So we can update this event location based on this script. So in place of uh, object, right? If I want to use some other object, I can use. So if I want to use person profile, I can use uh, like uh, contact API name, uh, contact object API name that is person profile. And then that record I can update here. And, and this is one more way of using a uh, new view using search expression. So instead of uh, defining filters like this, so I can give uh, all that in a one expression. So where I can say ID is equal to this one. So my ID is this. And if I want to give one more condition, I can use and or or condition. And I can give one more filter here. And that expression, I can insert into this object and then I can query and then I can create or update uh, using this, this field. If I use set attribute, it will update the field if you use get attribute, it will take the value from the field. If you want to use one line uh, of uh, new view, so we can use this format. So this is just simple way of uh, like uh, of fourth of third one or uh, second one. Yeah, Sec uh, second method, right? So in the same way, like we can use in one line. And fifth line is. Uh, we can define separate attribute uh, like attributes list of attributes to update and list of art, uh, attributes with that values and then using uh, this set attribute values method we can update both 
So like this, we, we have different ways. So you can also check out this uh, link if you want. Uh, then, uh, so if you want to uh, check more on the uh, like examples, right? So here, this is the document where it explains the uh, like what are the function it supports, right? Uh, different functions it supports, right? So all, all that examples here we can see. Um, and specifically for view objects, uh, what are the different, uh, if you see this, uh, this example, this page, this is the API name of the object, okay? These are the API name for contact, or uh, location or organization profile person party person profile so these are all the api names for the respective objects and uh, if we want examples uh, groovy examples or uh, the classes or methods that supports uh, right inbuilt methods supported so it will be listed in this <coughs> classes and methods supported in groovy scripts so from here you can take up <coughs> you can take the um, uh, like which functions will support right so get attribute set attribute all that will be listed here row remove if you want to remove some function right all that uh, is given he here and some of the examples also given here uh, you can check out that's all today's session thank you